G'day guys, it's a glorious winter's morning. The sun's about to hit the water and so are my baits. Both rods today are using my usual running sinker rig, which is swivel with about a foot of leader down to a tiny hook, a couple of Janjuk worms, a nice light sinker there sliding down to that swivel. I put the first one just out here. And I've got this one set up on an angle because I want to cast it over near that kabungi patch. Not too close, just over near it. Over there will do. Well, the sun is almost peaking above the trees on the opposite side of the river over there. So in about 10 minutes it'll get to the top there. It'll allow the light and the warmth to penetrate the water and hopefully bring some fish on the bite. That's the plan anyway, and <laughs> that's the theory. <laughs> There is some forecast for a bit of wind later on this morning and I can see from how quick the clouds up there are moving that it's probably not far away from touching down, down here. The good news is it's coming from behind me and there's a nice steep bank behind me. So with a bit of luck that'll shield me a little bit. First tap, just the tiniest little nibble. It's definitely a good sign. The sun has only just started hitting the water like I spoke about. Oh, he's still there. Take it. Got him. Yes. Not a huge fish, but I'm on the board. Well, I haven't landed it yet. <laughs> what is it? That is a bloody carp. <laughs> Happy to catch anything though. Ah, he's only little, but I don't want him to get off, so I'll drop the net. Oh, that'll do. He's in. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Ten minutes in, and I've got a fish on the board. I'm going to have a good day, I think. Well, I already am having a good day. <laughs> Hold still, mate. I'm going to grab a photo of you. If I can. Thank you very much for holding still for a photo, buddy. He fell victim to Janjuk worms, as most fish do. They're hard to resist, I think, for our scaly friends. And there we go. About a 28 to 30 centimetre carp pulled out of the Compassby River. I'm going to take him over there to get a quick knock to the head so I can get my bait back in the water and hopefully catch some more. Thanks for coming to play, buddy. Fun. <laughs> a couple of fresh worms on the hook there, and I'll get it back out where it was without a second to lose. I want to catch some more. More than just one fish today would be lovely. <laughs> well, I came here saying one fish would be lovely, but now I'm getting greedy. <laughs> There we go, second nibble for the morning, same rod, same kind of nibble too, just a little tap, see if this one comes back. Well, he was a one hit wonder that one, he didn't come back, but I haven't pulled the rod in, I'll just leave the bait there and see what happens. He could still be hanging around. A bit shrimpish that bite. At least I'm getting some action. I'm not convinced that was a fish though. It's just very, very finesse that one. Could be a shrimp down there playing with my worms in the sun. Out for a play, but uh, I'll pick up the rod anyway, just in case it is a finicky bite from a fish. Yeah, I reckon there's a shrimp playing funny buggers down there, but that's all right. I'm uh, actually very happy to have shrimp playing with my bait. It means we're close enough to spring that things are starting to get back to normal in my <laughs> in my river. <sighs> it's probably been about two hours since my rod was getting tickles from what I suspect was a shrimp. It's gotten very quiet. The shadows are now creeping back across the river. The sun was over there at the top of the trees when I started. It's now over there peeking in and out behind the clouds. Probably been here about three and a half hours for my one little carp. <laughs> 
but it is still winter that's to be expected and spring's only just around the corner so hopefully I've got some more action coming for you soon guys G'day guys under the current lockdown restrictions I'm allowed two hours of exercise per day I'm going to use my two hours to soak some bread in the river and hopefully wrestle a carp Right, a little bit of white bread like that. I'm just gonna keep folding in half and squashing the air out of until I'm happy with the size of it. Probably one more time here. Yep, that'll do. It's a bit rectangular, but that shouldn't matter. I can even just tear that bit off there. There you go. Nice bit of bait for the hook. And my hook will go just through that once. Straight through, come out the other side. And there's my bread bait ready to go. Now that's actually tougher than it looks. Once you squash all the air out of bread, it stays on the hook quite well. As long as you don't fling it around like crazy or get it snagged, that should stay on the hook for quite a while. First bait out to the right of that stump. Beautiful. Second bait over near that stick that's sticking up. That'll do. Now I've chosen the spot there and the spot there for my baits because they're tried and tested fish catching spots. I've caught plenty of fish in those two spots before. You're probably going to be asking why am I casting over there? Uh, because I always get snagged over there. <laughs> and when I do hook a fish, it runs me under the snags and I lose it anyway. So here I've got the best chance of hooking and landing a fish. I actually filmed a video here last spring where I fed a magpie one of my Janjuk worms and I commented at the time that some people might think it's a waste <laughs> but uh, magpies never forget a face and this guy's never going to sweep me again because he knows I'll feed him. You want some bread mate? Yeah? Is that what you're here for? Here you go. That's for you. <laughs> What's that noise? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a plane. That's a crop duster. He's flying very low. <laughs> well, no bites yet, but there's some excitement. <laughs> there's the first bite. Beauty, come back. Wasn't a huge bite. It's just enough to ring the bell. He's there. Come on, he's playing with it. Take it. Getting a bite on the other rod now. Some sort of bite window seems to have opened. And they've both gone quiet again. So I'm not sure whether to put both rods down or, or what here. But I've got a nibble on this one, or a few nibbles on this one, and then while I was holding it, that one bit. They've definitely gone quiet again. I might just put them back in the holder and see what happens. Something's still playing with this one. There's something there. Just saw the line moving. That one's back. <laughs> I can't win here. They're both constantly nibbling. I'll just keep an eye on it. Whoa, okay. That's not a nibble, that's a fish. Probably should have kept on holding on to this one, but I've hooked up. Whoa, oh, I got off. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. He's actually snapped the hook off. That was a big fish. What a mongrel. Is this one still biting? <laughs> or did I scare him off with that ruckus? <laughs> that would have been a big carp. You bugger. It's been dead for half an hour and then all of a sudden both of them started biting. Hooked a massive fish out there who snapped my hook off. <laughs> I've put the bells back on that one. I need to re-rig and re-bait that one because uh, hopefully the action is not over yet. 
Oh, it's a shame that they were both biting at the same time. If they had a bit separately, I probably could have landed two fish there, but because they were playing with me on both rods at once, I ended up with zero fish. <laughs> oh well, it's all part of the game. Let's keep playing. Well, one hour down, one hour to go. Here's hoping I can get a few more bites. Like that. <laughs> oh yes. That was on cue. Very much on cue. He's got it too, I think. Has he? I thought he did. Come on. I just ran over and changed battery really quickly because it went flat. But he hasn't come back again yet. It was a half decent bite. There's a good chance he took the bread off the hook. But I'll give it a few minutes before I pull it in, just in case. Well, between the bite and the battery change, I've now got about 50 minutes left. <laughs> Let's hope I get another bite, or another few bites. They're keeping me on my toes, I'd love to land one. Well, sadly that last fish didn't come back. Um, another fishless trip, to be expected, it is still winter. Uh, the bites are picking up, I just couldn't manage to land one. I did have the one snap my hook off, which I was not happy about. But I'm happy to be out here, I've had a bit of fun. What I might do is tack this trip onto the end of my last fishing trip, make it a bit of a double feature, so at least there's a fish caught in the video and you get to see what happened today as well. Hopefully you like both videos, and I'll see you in my next video.